what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel now look at this nice and beautiful question that we have here on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says 2 to the power of x is equal to 3 to the power of y is equal to 216 we have to find the value of 1 over x plus 1 over y so i'm going to be using two methods to solve this question so i'll be calling the first method method one so the first method i'll be taking this 2 to the power of x so i'll write that down 2 to the power of x equal to 216 so i'll write 216 so 2 to the power of x is equal to 216 is also the same thing as 6 to the power of 3. so our next step is to take the log of both sides so i'm going to be taking the log of the left hand side so i'm going to be writing log 2 to the power of x equal to i also take the log of the right hand side 6 to the power of 3. so now let's apply the law of logarithms here by taking the power and using it to multiply the log of the number so the power here is x so i'm going to be taking x and i'll be using it to multiply log 2. i'll be doing the same thing to this right hand side i'll take the power which is 3 and i'll be using it to multiply log 6. So now making x the subject, you notice that x will be equal to 3 log 6 divided by log 2. So now our next step will be to take this 3 to the power of y. So let's take 3 to the power of y and also equate it to 216. So let's write 216. And just as we did the first one, 216 is the same as 6 to the power of 3. So now let's take the log of both sides. So I'm going to be taking log 3 to the power of y equal to log 6 to the power of 3. So applying the law of logarithm, I'll be taking the power of the left hand side, which is y, and multiply by log 3 equal to take the power of the right hand side, which is 3, and multiply that by log 6. So making y the subject, you notice. Now y will be equal to 3 log 6 divided by log 3. Remember that the question says find the value of 1 over x plus 1 over y. So what is 1 over x? So coming here, this is x. So 1 over x, which is the inverse, will be equal to the inverse of what I have here. is just by switching the position. So I'm going to be writing log 2 divide by 3 log 6 so let's do the same thing to y so what is the inverse of y so the inverse of y will be 1 over y equal to so switching the position of this log 3 and 3 log 6 i'll be having log 3 divide by 3 log 6 so now let's add them so 1 over x plus 1 over y will be equal to so let's add them i'll be writing the first one which is one over x which has value of log 2 over 3 log 6 plus the one of y i'll have log 3 divided by 3 log 6 and as long as the denominators are the same i can add the numerators so this is log 2 plus log 3 now divide by one of the denominators, which is 3 log 6. Remember that log 2 plus log 3 is same as log 6, right? So divide by 3 log 6. Now notice that log 6 here gives 1, log 6 here is 1. So final answer is going to be 1 all over 3. And there you have it. All right, so now let's look at our second method. So I'm going to be writing method 2. So for method 2, I'm going to be taking this 2 to the power of x. So write 2 to the power of x equal to 216. So this is 216. So this can also be written as 2 to the power of x equal to 6 to the power of 3. So now our next step will be to multiply the power on the left and the power on the right by 1 over x. So let's do that. So the power on the left, which is x, I'm going to be multiplying that by 1 over x. And I'll do the same to the right hand side, 6 to the power of 3. 
I'm going to be multiplying this by 1 all over x. So you notice that this x will cancel off this x. So leaving behind 2 equal to 6 to the power of 3 all over x. So let's do the same thing to this one. So this is 3 to the power of y. So I have 3 to the power of y equal to 216. So applying the same method, I'm going to be having 6 to the power of 3 here. And now let's multiply the power on the left and the power on the right by 1 all over y. So this becomes 3 to the power of y. So multiply by 1 all over y. And do the same thing to the one on the right. I'll also be multiplying the power on the right by 1 all over y. Notice that this power here can go with this power. So leaving behind 3. Equal to 6 to the power of 3 all over y. Remember, power multiplies power. So our next step will be to multiply these two equations. So multiplying these two equations, you notice I'll have 2 times 3 on the left equal to 6 to the power of 3 over x times 6 to the power of 3 over y. Now 2 times 3 is going to give us 6 equal to, now remember we have the same base, so I'm going to be taking one of the base and I'll add the power. So the power is 3 over x plus 3 all over y. I remember the one on the left is having a power of 1. So since the base are the same, I'm going to be equating the power. So I have 1, which is the power on the left, equal to 3 over x plus 3 over y. Now remember, 3 is common on the left-hand side. So I'm going to be factorizing 3 out. So leaving behind 1 over x plus 1 over y, which is what the question asks us to look for. But in order to get it, I'm going to be dividing both sides by 3. So let's divide both sides by 3. Now notice that 3 will cancel off here, leaving behind 1 over x plus 1 over y, equal to 1 all over 3. Or we can write it in an appropriate way as 1 all over x plus 1 all over y to be equal to 1 all over 3. And there you have it. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, don't hesitate to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.